you want to learn how to make these super easy Dollar Tree fall DIYs, then just keep watching. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Melissa and I love to do all things crafty on a budget. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love if you would stick around, become part of my crafty family by clicking that red subscribe button. Then you just wanna tap the bell and all, that way you're notified every single time I upload. And with that being said, I'm super excited to show you guys these DIYs. So let's not waste any time and let's get into today's video. All right, beautiful people, let's get into this DIY. Happy Monday, hope you guys are all doing well, and I want you guys to stop and take a moment, if you like this DIY, to tell yourself how amazing you are and encourage yourself that you can do this project. So I start off with one of these signs from Dollar Tree. I got it back at Easter time, and I also had these wood slabs also from Dollar Tree in the crafter square section. I used five of the wood pieces from Dollar Tree all together and one sign, and this was a little bit too long. You guys are gonna see here that I made a mistake. So I cut it down to the size that I thought that I needed. So I just held up my wood pieces and then marked where I thought that I needed it, cut, cut it down. And then for the side pieces, I had to just cut one of these in half. So these were actually perfect size for the ends. So I was really happy about that because I didn't have to um, cut any excess off. So once I had my two pieces cut, then I stained them all with my Dixie Belle stain. And I also cut up a scrap um, piece of dowel rod. That way I could do what you see here. I had six pieces and this is just gonna help me so that I have something to glue this wood to. Once I had my gla... My <laughs> yeah, my glow rods. <laughs> <laughs> Once I have my dowel rods glued down with some hot glue where you see that I place them, then I just attach my wood pieces with some hot glue as well. Now you're going to see here, this is where I made my mistake. So instead of holding up my end piece to um, the inside of the wood, I ended up holding it to the outside of the wood, marking my Dollar Tree sign and then cutting it down. So just make sure that you measure twice, cut once, you'll save yourself a step. No big deal, I just cut it down to the right size that I needed it, glued that down with some hot glue and continued to glue down the rest of the pieces of my box. Now, you don't have to do this. You're not gonna see the inside of this, but my personal OCD was like, okay, girl, you really need to paint that. It was bugging me. So all I did was take some of my Waverly chalk paint. Um, I forget what the brown color is called. And I just gave that a good coat on the inside. I also used my mini chip brush and some cashew Waverly chalk paint to dry brush all the way around this little box as well as on the top of the box. Now to give this box a little decorative flair, I felt it was just missing something. I had these little embellishments in my stash. I'm not really sure what to call these. Um, corner protectors maybe. I don't know. I know that I got them from Michaels. I used them when I did my Christmas in July video and I thought that they would be an amazing addition. So I just hot glued them to each corner of my box. And then for the front of it, I used one of these fancy little label holders that I just recently used in my Halloween <laughs> Dollar Tree DIY video. If you guys have not seen that, um, I will leave that in the cards in the right hand corner but I did just cut a piece of that um, wallpaper from Dollar Tree it's a little bit thicker so I just cut out a cut out a piece to size to fit in the front of that label holder and I flipped it over so that the white side was shown and I screwed that down to the front middle I then used my rub and buff to just um, you know, embellish this with some gold. I really wanted all the little details to stand out and then I set my box aside. Next, I take three of these carvable pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I pull the tag off and I paint one of the pumpkins with two coats of my Moss Waverly chalk paint 
I'm sorry, one of the pumpkins with my Moss Waverly chalk paint, and then the other two, I give that two good coats of my Cashew Waverly chalk paint as well. Now once all these pumpkins were good and dry, I just used the same exact brush that I used to paint these pumpkins with. And for the moss color, I used the cashew paintbrush and I just lightly brushed whatever was left on my brush in all those little details, making sure to connect it at the top. And then I just did the opposite for the cashew color. And then to tone these colors down, because as you can see here, um, it, it was just a bit much and I just love the contrast between the colors. So I just used my gel, or I'm sorry, my antique wax by Waverly, a little tiny bit on the end of the same brush and I just dry brushed over those same exact details. I set those aside to dry and then I take this little Barbie table from Dollar Tree. If you guys have not seen these, they're so stinking cute. They have several um, different ones. They're actually new. So if you have kids, look out in the toy section. Um, I'm really impressed with the doll furniture. But anyway, I had one of these little tables so I painted it with my Truffle Waverly chalk paint. There we go, that's the brown color. It's called Truffle. And then once that was completely dry, then I used my Rub and Buff to um, once again highlight all of those details in the sides of the table because I'm actually gonna put this in the, the sides of the table are gonna be in the front. So I set that aside to um, finish curing because Rub and Buff is not a paint. It's more like an oil. I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of like cures and then it will not come off. So I set that aside to cure. And then I take these long candlesticks from Dollar Tree. I hold them up to the top of my pumpkins, mark out where I need to cut, and then use my utility knife to cut out a hole so that the candles can stay put. I glued those down into place. I put the doll um, table in the middle of my box and then I arranged my pumpkins. I also used a um, garland of lamb's ear to cover this. Now you can put any greenery, you guys can put anything in here. You can put pumpkins, I mean the possibilities are endless. And I also put a few little pumpkin picks from Dollar Tree in as well. And then around the ends of the candles, I just took some jute that I had from one of those hanging shelves from Dollar Tree. I wrapped that around the bottom, glued that down with some hot glue, and I wrapped it about three times and then cut it off and glued it to the back, and I repeated that for all three. I then took one of my chalk suede tags from Chalk Couture. Now at first I was gonna try to make like a wood grain, but I just didn't like the way that it looked. So I ended up just painting over that with my Cashew Waverly chalk paint and then transferring on this little Happy Harvest image with my Chalk Couture transfers. And I can leave this particular transfer um, link down below and in the pinned comment for you guys if it is available. If you guys also want to learn how to get 40% off everything on the site for just $9.99, let me know. Text my number 302-2040-881. You can also text me ketones. You guys know I just recently lost 60 pounds prior to this pregnancy and I'm finally sharing my secrets. So if you guys want any of that info, definitely just text me. You can also be part of the text crew um, if you guys want alerts when I go live, when I upload a video. So anyway, <laughs> to finish this little box, all I did was paint four of those little cubes from Dollar Tree, glued those to all of the corners, and I also made three raffia bows and I glued those to the front of the candles. And you guys, I am absolutely loving the way that this turned out. I put this together really quickly. Honestly, anybody can do it. You don't need a bunch of tools. Um, I almost did not make this video, you guys. I'm at the point in my pregnancy where I'm just getting super tired and I this almost didn't happen, so I know that in the state that I am, that I am in, if I can do it, you guys can do it as well. Don't get discouraged because 
you never know unless you try. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this gorgeous pumpkin centerpiece. For DIY number two, this one is so easy. Any of you can do it. All I did was take two pumpkins from Dollar Tree. One of them is already on a stand, so I just left it on a stand, and then the other one is an unfinished wood pumpkin. So I set that aside, and here I'm gonna show you my mistake. You guys love to see mistakes. I make them all the time. That's why I tell you I'm not a perfect crafter. I definitely traced it on the wrong side, so make sure that you're tracing it on the right side. But I used this wall tile I um, cut out the shape of this pumpkin and then glued that down with some hot glue. To paint this, I used a dabber and some of my cashew Waverly chalk paint. I did try to brush it and I just didn't like the streaks in it. I really liked the way that it looked using the dabber, so that's why I used that, but if you guys wanna use a paintbrush, go for it. I set that aside to dry and I stain the smaller pumpkin with my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain and these new little chip brushes that I have been using that are in my Amazon shop for you guys. You ask about my chip brushes all the time and the ones that I love the most are not available. You guys all sold them out. But I did find an okay comparable um, paintbrush. It's the It sheds really bad, so just be aware of that. But I do really like these. So check those out. Uh, description box has all my links. But I just dry brushed some of my antique wax over all the details on the bigger pumpkin. And then I dry brushed some cashew Waverly chalk paint over the uh, wooden pumpkin. I also hot glued some jute to the top of the bigger pumpkin, wrap that around, cut that off, and then glued that down with some hot glue. And then when I went to go glue down the tile, um, obviously I had to use the front side because I messed up and I popped this little pumpkin off and I actually felt that it was perfect for this. So I glued that down to the left side. I glued the natural pumpkin to the right side. And then I also had this beautiful braided ribbon from Dollar Tree. So I just made a simple bow, glued that to the top of the bigger pumpkin and then made another raffia bow and glued that to the smaller or the medium sized pumpkin. Next, I cut out this little image from my calendar from a few years ago. Um, it says pumpkin patch with my utility knife, that way I didn't have to cut up the page and glued that down with some Mod Podge. And then last but not least, I cut some lamb's ear off the top of a pick glue that to the sides of the natural pumpkin and that was it for this one you guys i love little diys like this you can put them on shelves you can put it on a tiered tray it just depends but i love little diys like this so let me know down in the comments what you guys think Okay friends, moving on to the last and final DIY. You guys can do this with your eyes closed, in your sleep, you name it, you can do it. So definitely try this one if you are scared to DIY. It just breaks my heart when you guys are in the comments like, I would love to try this, but I know I can't do it, blah, blah, blah. It breaks my heart because I know that you guys can do it the projects that I do. So anyway, <laughs> I take two of these carvable pumpkins once again, I paint them with my Cashew Waverly chalk paint, and then use some antique wax to highlight the um, details. I then just cut out the stems and then glue these pumpkins together. I paint the top one where I cut it, just so that way when you put um, whatever you're putting in here, you can't see that white foam. And then I just made two simple bows, glued that down to the middle. 
I also cut in between the pumpkins just so that way you had more room to put your florals. And that was it for this one, you guys. Look how absolutely stunning this turned out. This project took me only a couple minutes and I can't wait to see your guys' version of it. So if you guys are not following me on TikTok and Instagram, head over to those platforms at All Things Crafty 2 where I upload daily DIYs. You also get to know me in my stories a little bit. I'm always on there and you get to see more into my personal life. So head over, check me out over there. Don't forget also if you guys want any chalk couture info or ketone info to text my number at 302-204-0881. Um, just text the word ketone or chalk or text crew to get text alerts when I upload or go live. So thank you guys so much for being here and supporting every single thing I do. Nothing is possible with Without you guys and I want you guys to know that I want you to know how much I absolutely adore and appreciate every single one of you and if nobody has told you today you are absolutely stunning girlfriend your hair is amazing you are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye don't forget to smash that subscribe button like comment and share on your way out Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.